So let's head now from the strawberry fields here at Pfeiffer Orchards to another Delaware farm where a unique experiment may help farmers save money and in turn help keep our food prices down. And on this farm, the power to run a poultry house is coming from the sun. That solar resource we have, you know, the scale is amazing. One unique thing about Delaware is that we're a very, very small state. It really is a place where you can get something done quickly. It's certainly not unusual to see a confluence of science and agriculture. In many ways, farming is one of our most innovative industries by necessity and the need to grow more while spending less. We've seen about a 30% increase in, in power costs in the past few years. Well, it adds to the cost of growing chickens and it adds to the, uh, the competitive aspect of uh, agribusiness in total. So it's really no surprise that entrepreneurs like Chick Allen didn't need a lot of convincing before he let researchers put up a slew of solar panels on his Delaware chicken farm, making this the nation's first commercial solar-powered poultry house in a region known as the birthplace of the broiler industry. Independent contract growers, if they can lower their electric costs, if the industry can experience lower costs to produce chickens, it, uh, it just will help the, uh, the whole process. Selling the idea of solar to farmers could be a bit of a challenge, but with skyrocketing energy costs, rising consumer food costs, and a growing concern for a cleaner environment, solar could well be agriculture's coming attraction. Chris Shering, whose company built the solar project, says it's designed to generate enough power to operate three poultry houses, each holding about 25,000 chickens. Lights, evaporative coolers, feed and watering systems, and vent fans all powered by the sun. On cloudy days, solar-charged batteries kick in to supplement the sun's juice for up to eight hours. Or they can fire up a generator or reconnect to the power company if need be. So any one individual then could figure out how to use the batteries versus the solar panels versus buying off the grid so that the electric rates are minimal all the time. It's all still experimental. In fact, this project will be studied by scientists and university experts for three full years. We know it's going to work. The question is, how well is it going to work? And I don't mean technically. I mean, how well is it going to work economically? And that's always a big question with new technology. This prototype cost a half million dollars, though much of it was repaid through state and federal grants and green energy credits. And there is a reason why the University of Delaware, another partner in the project, wanted this on a real farm. What we're about is trying to find out how long would it take a grower on a farm like this to recoup the investment. What is the payback time? In fact, experts say that payback time, the return on investment, may be five years or less. That's when growers like Chick will start getting, in essence, free electricity. Oh. So you're selling power now. We're selling power. Selling it back to the grid. About one kW on that mode. You're making money. Isn't that good? <laughs> The Delmarva region is one of the nation's leading poultry producers, more than 500 million birds a year, about 10% of the entire nation's output. But it's not just local farmers who stand to benefit. But we should care because uh, this industry is going to remain viable and you're still going to be able to get your chickens in the local supermarket at a price that is attractive to you. I've had a lot of my peers from Mississippi and Arkansas you know, call from Georgia uh, and from California and, and ask about the project, how is it going, what have we learned, how well is it going to be competitive with commercial power, that's what we have to find out, we have to weigh that. One thing that surprised me, according to the solar expert we spoke with, a solar panel here in Delaware will collect just as much of the sun's energy as it would in California or the desert southwest. 